Tennessee tested twice, Louisville not yet. Well, the Volunteers bow out in the Sweet 16 for a second straight year. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on the NCAA Tournament Previews presented by Brother Printers and All-in-Ones. It's the 2-3 matchup in the only region that has gone 1-2-3-4, the East Regional. And for more, we bring in Steve Lapis from the CBS College Sports Network. And Steve, when you look at these two teams, do you see two teams that are basically very similar in their style of play? Well, they both can go up and down. Tennessee, really, that is totally their style of play. I think this Louisville team, though, is capable of playing at two different speeds. Though they prefer to play quickly, they don't only play quick. They can play slow. They've been in enough grind-out games in the Big East to have a good way of being able to compete in games that are slow. Steve, Louisville's coming off a game in which they played nearly perfect basketball. They dominated in the paint, the 53% from beyond the arc. For that to happen again, which guys have to be the catalyst? Well, you know, Terrence Williams is a huge key for Louisville. They really, he leads them in assists, and he's their small forward. He has the, he has the best assist to turnover ratio on the team. To me, he's a key guy because that's one of their weaknesses. When you don't have a pure point guard in this tournament, Edgar Sosa is probably their most point guard type player, but he's only playing about 22 minutes a game now. So Terrence Williams was out there for more minutes. He is a key guy in, in being able to help them break this pressure when this Tennessee team starts doubling them all over the place. And Jerry Smith will have to be a, a key role in that as well. And meanwhile for Tennessee, every time they take the court it seems like Tyler Smith and Wayne Chisholm really provide a mismatch. But in this game, Steve, it doesn't seem like that'll be the case because it's almost like Louisville is just as athletic as those two guys and the other guys that Tennessee can throw out. Well, you know, obviously with a guy like Juan Palacios who's been not playing as many minutes but who's very athletic and the overall athleticism of Louisville, you would think that those are going to be some good matchups. I think Tyler Smith still might be the best athlete on the floor at 6'6 because of what he can do. He's long, he's athletic, he's had a great season. So I think I would give the athleticism a slight edge Edge to Tennessee. Meanwhile, Steve, uh, the other part of Tennessee's game all year long, they shoot a ton of threes, they like to hit the threes, they have not been that good at it, especially so far here in the tournament. Chris Lofton's been a big part of that, a big problem. Last year was fantastic in the NCAA tournament, this year not so much. If he doesn't play well, will they beat the Cardinals? Boy, that's going to be tough. You know, you need somebody like J.P. Prince who started for the first time in the last game to step up a little bit. I mean, here's a team that takes 25 three-point shots a game, and their best three-point shooter is really, really struggling. Only nine points in that game against Butler. So when you want to shoot a lot of threes and your best three-point shooter is struggling, that's a, that's a big problem for you. So now you're going to need some other guys to step up or Chris Lofton to just get hot at the right time. Yeah, and he only had five points in that win against America. American, part of the reason it was so close for 35 minutes. Steve, when you look at this game, what is the one key that stands out to you? The one key is, is Tennessee going to be able to turn Louisville over? They only forced five, they only had five steals against Butler in their last game. That's a problem. This is a team that thrives on stealing the ball. When you look at Louisville, a team that doesn't have the real true point guard out there, you would think that Tennessee is going to be able to get them in an up and down game and turn them over a little bit. It's a 2-3 matchup. Who wins, the two or the three? I'm going with Tennessee in this one. I really like this Tennessee team, though I have to tell you I am concerned that they have not in the last two games been able to really get the pace as fast as they wanted to get it. All right, so you're going to go with the better seed in this game against the third-seeded Louisville Cardinals. Steve Lapis, CBS College Sports Network. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Jason. The two tip it off a half hour after the conclusion of the North Carolina-Washington State game from Charlotte. Of course, one that you can see on CBS or March Madness On Demand. And for more on this game or any other in the regional semis, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com or the CBS College Sports Network leading up to the game. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.